In this video, we'll look at how to configure Pro Tools Carbon inside of Pro Tools. Once you've completed the basic settings inside of the audio MIDI setup, and Pro Tools Carbon appears as an audio device, launch Pro Tools and open the playback engine. This can be found under the setup menu. Here you'll find a drop down for all available audio devices connected to your system. Select Pro Tools Carbon from the list. Once you've done this, you'll be able to see in the hardware tab that Carbon is now being used as the audio interface for Pro Tools. In this window, you'll see options to configure Carbon's monitor controls, as well as line input gain and output reference level. Navigate to the I.O. settings under the Setup menu. Here's where you can configure all the inputs and outputs for Pro Tools. Across the top of the window, you'll see tabs for Input, Output, Bus, Insert and Hardware Inserts Delay. The Input tab shows all available inputs to your system. From here you can rename, delete or create new paths. The next tab is Outputs. As on the Inputs tab, you can rename, delete and create new paths here should you wish. Notice the boxes in green and cyan. These show that these outputs are assigned to the main speaker and headphones outputs on the carbon monitor section. The next tab is for buses. Buses can be mapped to a physical output or routed internally within your Pro Tools session. Check that all your output buses are mapped to the correct outputs of carbon. Should you have any buses missing, a fast way to resolve this is by selecting all your buses using the shortcut Command A. Delete all the buses in your I.O. settings and press the default button. We recommend saving your I.O. settings by selecting the Export Settings button. Should you need to recall these settings at a later stage, select the Import Settings button to recall this I.O. configuration. Once this is complete, you should be ready to begin recording and mixing with Carbon. For more information and other videos, visit the Pro Tools Carbon page on avid.com.